What is up guys, it is Mercules here with Destiny Tracker and we're going to be bringing you a brief summary today of some changes that are going to be coming in 2.6.0, also known as the Age of Triumph update, uh, that were not revealed in the Twitch stream uh, earlier in the week on Wednesday. Uh, Josh Hamrick has done a really great job of talking to a bunch of people on Twitter and basically hashing out and uh, covering some stuff that he either forgot to mention or just didn't get a chance to mention. And I'm basically, like I said, just going to summarize it for you. We're going to break it up into a couple of groups. It's going to be armor and weapon info, then adept elemental info, sandbox and balance changes, ornaments, and a little bit of miscellaneous tacked on at the end. So let's go ahead and get right into it with armor and weapon info. First things first, Vault of Glass and Crota's End armor pieces are going to look just like they did in year one, as long as you have no ornament equipped. That's going to be very, very great for a lot of people who wanted that old school armor feel. Number two, and this is potentially one of the biggest things to come out of this update, vendor gear will refresh weekly. This means that perks for weapons and perks and stats for armor will change with the weekly update every single week. So we have a lot of ways to get marks now. You're going to want to spend them on these weapons because they're not going to be there forever. No other year one guns are coming back. The only year one guns that are coming back are the raid weapons. No year one vendor, no year one iron banner, none of that. It's not coming back. Don't think that it is. As far as Josh Hammer is concerned, that's what he said to us. He cited him multiple times on Twitter. Pocket Infinity is also not going to be coming back. That's very unfortunate, but it is the truth. It is one of the only exotic weapons that is being left behind. Vex Mythoclast may not have a quest to acquire it, but the Necrochasm definitely does. He hinted that it may be streamlined from what it was. Uh, hopefully that means the grinding for the Crux of Crota isn't going to be as hard as it was before. But he cited that you do have to re-earn the Necrochasm, and he strongly, strongly recommends not dismantling your Cruxes if you have one right now. Go ahead and keep them, wait around and see, and uh, we'll figure it out when the update drops. Now, moving on to Adept Elemental Info. The Adept versions of Raid Primaries are a completely separate weapon. I see that some people were confused about this. It is not a toggle node or something from the Legendary. It is a totally separate exotic weapon. Uh, adept Primaries will be earned from the Challenge Modes, and the only Adept weapons that are going to exist are going to be versions of the Raid Primaries. There are going to be the Legendary Raid Primaries, and then there are going to be the Adept Raid primaries. The adept ones are going to be exotic. They're going to have elemental damage. There will not be adept trials weapons. There will not be adept iron banner weapons. There won't be anything other than adept raid weapons. No other primaries, and I want to stress this, no other primaries are having their elemental damage added. Uh, so again, trials primary weapons will not be elemental. Now for King's Fall weapons, they previously had an RNG last perk. Uh, for the exotic versions, the adept versions, one perk is going to be chosen by the Bungie design team, so it is not going to be RNG, it is going to be a set uh, perk. Adept weapons are also going to have set elements, it is not going to be RNG elemental damage, it is just going to be straight set elements. Now something that's a little bit disappointing but not altogether surprising, Outbreak Prime and Touch of Malice will not have elemental damage. That hurts me a little bit, I think they should, but they do not, so there you go, that is straight from the horse's mouth. Moving on to sandbox and balance changes. The original shotgun and air changes that were supposed to come through with 2.5.0, they actually didn't come through. They're going to be pushed through now, and then they're going to be monitored to determine whether it's overkill or not. They may roll them back. Touch of Malice, it is not changing the way it plays. It's always the same Touch of Malice. They're not going to revert back that nerf they did to it a couple of changes ago, unfortunately. Um, speaking of the shotgun and air changes, Chaperone is affected by those in air changes, which means it is not going to be accurate in the air, unfortunately. Now, hand cannons are receiving a range nerf. There is a slight difference. Um, the lowest range hand cannons will only get a 2.75 meter range nerf, and everything above that will get a 3 meter one. It's not a huge nerf, but it is enough to make some people very unhappy. I don't think it's going to have a big effect, but we'll see how it plays out. Um, once we all get our hands on the weapons themselves. ARs are not going to be receiving a damage buff. Some people thought they were, uh, but what is really happening is that the they're basically going to do more damage at longer ranges, and they're going to have a shallower damage falloff curve. It means damage falloff isn't going to be as aggressive, and it's not going to go down as far. Now, I want to go back and talk about the hand cannon range nerf again because Josh felt the need to clarify that it only does one thing. It makes the damage fall off start three meters earlier. Everything else is unaffected. The accuracy is not changed, everything like that. All it does is make the damage fall off start three meters earlier. 
Now, luckily for us, Astrocyte Versus, one of the most underused exotics in the game, is actually getting a buff. It's taking the recovery that it gives you from plus three, which was totally unnoticeable, to plus seven, which will probably be slightly noticeable. Now, Rescue Mag is also having a glitch patched. Um, I'm not going to talk about that glitch because I don't want to give anybody ideas on how to use it before it gets patched in the next week. And then Rangefinder and in air accuracy on shotguns are being corrected. We already talked about in air accuracy. Rangefinder, it actually increased your ADS speed, uh, meaning made it faster instead of slowing it down, which is what it was supposed to do. So they're going to be fixing that. Number nine, the health regen perks. Um, that were messed up in the last uh, in the last update. Some of them are going to be fixed. Some of them are going to be left the same. The ones that are going to be left the same, meaning they just get back a chunk of health at one time. Uh, instead of giving back 36 health, they're now going to get back 57 health. Um, but it will not unstun either your shields or your health. And unstunning means it immediately starts regeneration. Uh, the old way that it worked was you got 10 health and 10 shields back, and both of them started regenerating immediately. So some of them are going to revert back. Some of them are not. For a full list, please go to Bungie.net. And they'll talk about it there. A couple of things for ornaments. There are no ornaments for Outbreak Prime yet. That doesn't mean there are ever going to be, but as of right now, there are not. And the only weapon that gets two ornaments uh, for this upcoming patch is the Surus Regime. Miscellaneous. There are no word on if the PS exclusives are going to be coming to Xbox anytime soon. Sorry about that. Sorry for myself. I am an Xbox player. That definitely sucks. And sticky nades are on the radar for a change. That means a couple of things. Number one that we might actually have another balance patch before this game is done. I don't know whether or not we will for sure, but he did say that sticky nades are on the radar for a change. So that being said, that is all the information I could pull up uh, that was not covered in the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something and get ready to hop on that Destiny 2 hype train. Thank you.